Hello. Uh, thank you for arranging this because um, this is actually the uh, first task that I'm aware of in, in, lo in local government in Cambridge. Um, and they don't, have, they don't happen very often. And it's good to bring a, a greater profile to something that isn't a general election campaign. Um, student turnout, it's, it's particularly relevant that, it's, that we're holding this here because student turnout is very low. And I'm not just talking about QC elections. Uh, there's no wrong in this election. Um, it, someone has to be elected. Um, so please do vote. And if you do vote, if students vote in larger numbers, people will take more notice of students' views and students' concerns. So I'm Andrew, and um, I wasn't born in Cambridge. I also come from Birmingham originally. Um, I came to Cambridge 17 years ago as an undergraduate at Keats. Um, I haven't been there, all, uh, I've been here for all but four years since then. And in that time, I've been to a number of council meetings and other meetings arranged by communities uh, for specific issues, perhaps in, in local areas. And, and I've seen how effective a good councillor can be, the, the difference it can make. Uh, I've seen that there are councillors from all parties across the city who work very hard indeed. There are also others who perhaps get elected off the back of that work. Um, and um, maybe that's inevitable when you have 20 odd councillors. Um, so I want to be one of those who does turn up and does do the work. We only have one Conservative councillor in Cambridge. Uh, and I can't hide behind him because there's only one of him. So strategic issues in Cambridge. People will, uh, councillors elected, the councillor elected this election will be involved in key strategic matters, things that decide what Cambridge will be, look, what Cambridge will be like forever, things like the local plan, uh, which, is, which is in draft form now, it's with the inspector, but things that will make a difference to uh, the character of the place forever. And so it needs an eye for detail, and it needs people who are willing to put in the hard work, and I would do that. Now in Cambridge, one of the big problems we have is that the roads are choked, enormous demand. And in the Guardian, it was reported that 30% of people in Cambridge commute by bike, which is good. It's certainly the smart way. It's how I came in today, uh, this evening, and it's cheap and it's fast. And we can see how important uh, cycling is to Cambridge when the weather's bad and swathes of uh, cyclists get in their cars. Um, chaos, chaos ensues, so it makes a big difference. Now, we need to spend money on cycling, and we do, uh, in part. In fact, we've had a load of money from the government in recent years. But I want us to be really careful about um, how we spend that money. Um, it can be very effective. Um, DF, Department of Transport Studies show that you get a payback of 2 to 1, 35 to 1, in that range, for money you spend on cycling. But we've also had a roundabout down the road that had half a million pounds spent on it to splash some paint around, and it's actually had, a, it had an accident within about a week with a 12-year-old boy. Um, so we can't really fritter away money on poor schemes, we need to be careful. And this is a, a key Conservative theme, it's one of my themes of uh, value for money. But what I think we need for cycling is we need a good quality lit cycle paths and we need lots of cycle parking. I, I back the QC Right to Light campaign for lighting in public places. Now that's not just a street light issue for highways, that's also for places like Parks Peace, Christ Pieces, all things that are City Council responsibilities. That, and that's something that the council elected uh, this week will have to have a role in. So I really hope that you do vote. It will make a difference. Um, the election here could be very tight between at least three parties. Um, but whichever way you vote, I hope you're very conservative. <laughs> <laughs> um, send a message to politicians that they can't ignore students. Thank you.